Very nice. So uh, you got that evidence on camera. You had the experience with the door. Um, did you have any like contact with anything? Like where you had a communication? No, like did you ever weren't. find out what was plaguing? Like what no, kind of as never did. Or? Never did. Really? They and did have a that group did have a psychic there in case of need of anything, and, and she it, had to go in and clear her. That's a good thing that she was there because yeah. this woman needed her. The one to pull this yeah. energy off of her. Of yeah. Course. They, and they, everybody left the room and they stayed <coughs> together and she got that off her. Now, the, the, the place was open to the investigation? Like they actually told the hotel they were doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And they oh, were, they were all for it. They, uh, they made a dinner for everybody and down in the, in the restaurant. They now, served dinner. And I think, uh, is it possible that they won't allow it anymore since they basically scared the crap out of a local reporter? Definitely. Because <laughs> it's, it's not good at for the business end of this all. evening... <laughs> Um, the end of that evening, um, the the local group that was up there, they said they were going to come back and try to sage the place. And I don't know what happened. I'm going to assume it didn't work because the owners put an end, just like the custom house, they put an end to any investigations taking place. Mm. Um, the building has since been sold to new owners. And just interesting, uh, just yesterday... I found out that the new owners have um, nailed shut the door that leads to the upstairs where all this took place. Really? They've nailed the door nailed shut. It, like just closed off the entire... Yep. And what are, what is the new owner's plans? Do you know? I have no idea. Oh. Okay. So I found that very interesting. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's almost uh, amazingly validating when uh, owners of a building or a business will do things that uh, prove ghost experiences to be real. And one of the best examples of this, uh, we talk about it on the Niagara and the Lake Ghost Walk. And when we're standing outside the Old Angel Inn, uh, we tell the story about how um, Swayze, who's the ghost of the building, used to rise up from his, his grave in the basement and cause havoc and throw glasses around and break stuff. And they found out that it was because when they took the Union Jack flags, down from the entrances and sent them away for cleaning, which took the exact amount of time that bad things were happening in the building. And once the flag went up, he was calm again, that the owners uh, purchased a second set of British flags so that when one came down, the other one could immediately go up. And it proved, it proved the story to be real, which, yeah, no, when you hear that, it's just... You know, anybody who doesn't believe in the paranormal should should research that kind of stuff. Go stay at the Old Angel Inn. Yeah, but I'm I'm intrigued now about this um, the place. Sorry, what's the no name of the hotel again? Spruce Dale Hotel. And do you know what town it's in? Spruce Dale. Oh, okay, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tiny little dot on the map. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. And maybe uh, I'll follow it up on the next podcast and give an update on that because that's intriguing. If they mm -hmm. nail how did you find out that they nailed the, the second floor shut? Um, uh, I just uh, the family that, that I have up there, they're actually you know here in the city oh, okay. for a few days, and we had lunch yesterday, and so the topic just came up. Very cool. That, yeah. And they, they updated me that, yeah, the new owners have nailed that door shut, and no one's going up onto that second floor. All right. Yeah, you hear stories like that. I think the Banff Springs Hotel mm -hmm. was one where they nailed shut one of the rooms. Uh, even the Prince of Wales in Niagara and the Lake, uh, there was a, a rumor for a while, it's not anymore, but that they turned room 207, where all the activity happens, uh, they turned it into a supply closet for a while. Oh, did they? Yeah, they, didn't, they oh. didn't even rent it out anymore, even though it was the most requested room in the hotel because of the experiences, you know. I don't think they want to be known as a haunted hotel. I, I wasn't sure. Like, you know, some, some of the people there, they, they don't care. Like, I got ghost stories from the concierge when we were researching. Oh, really? It. Yeah. Uh, which included a couple in that room. Uh, they they seemed to be open to it, but yeah, when I found out that that happened, it made me wonder. But uh, you know, they never charged extra for the room. Can't say that about some haunted places. <laughs> 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 so you know, it's always nice to talk to people who believe in the paranormal because, and I've talked about this before. Uh, it's not as widespread as it used to be, and maybe it's because um, I like to blame the ghost shows. Like ghost hunters, uh, you know, creepy Canada back in the day, that they kind of turned it into a joke. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. So they, so people, they see that. They see how on YouTube they show like you know, ghost hunters are faking things with the chicken wire or like you know, making noises in the distance and not telling the talent that they're doing it. So they have mm -hmm. real reactions. 
Um, so if you go back to when they were running, which would have been early 2000s, to now, it was almost like there's been a decline in the interest in ghost stories. Um, do you find, well, you guys have been in for five years, so maybe it's not a good question, but I'll try anyway. Do you find that it's harder now than it was when you first started to get interests uh, from investigations? Not really. I found it's just been a, a very even Yeah, because yeah, I think you came in towards the... the along. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the drop, and then you guys came in at the end of the drop. But I know I'll tell you, um, you know, doing the tours back in the day, people come out, there used to be that um, natural feeling of intrigue uh, and being freaked out in a haunted location. And maybe you can blame it on the ghost shows making it ridiculous or horror movies just becoming so much more realistic over the years that have kind of taken that uh, creepiness away from things. <laughs> But I'll tell you, you know, that nowadays when you talk about paranormal investigation and uh, you talk to a scientific person, they'll just laugh it off. Has there ever been a time that you've, you know, uh, had somebody who kind of embarrassed you because they were a scientific thinker? Like if you talked about the paranormal, they treated you a certain way because you were believers in it? No, no not really. No. No. And you guys have had a great yeah. career. Yeah. 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 You guys are lucky. We've gotten lucky, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's been a few tours. Uh, you know what? It's always satisfying when something happens to the person, too. And again, I'm going to go to Niagara on the Lake for this one. It's Canada's most haunted town. Uh, I had a skeptic who came on the tour who remained nameless. And uh, at the beginning, he just was making joke after joke. You know, it was like poking fun at his wife for believing in that kind of stuff. And he brought with him a digital camera that had like a separate flash with a separate battery pack and a flash. And we get to the, uh, the old Trish Romance Gallery which if you don't know, it's um, uh, the Victorian house in town uh, down King Street from the Prince of Wales, and it's abandoned right now. So what happens there is cameras will tend to screw up, and this happens often. Uh, like uh, most of the time I'll see batteries drain. So full batteries will go to nothing, and they walk away from the building, and it will come back to its normal level. And I had this skeptic who was making fun and causing problems earlier. He was taking pictures of the house, and I thought it was done. I asked, any, every, did anybody have any experiences? They're like, no. So I moved on to the next stop, and I swear he ran through the crowd. He just like was <laughs> kind of pushing people aside politely, and right up to me, he's like, Daniel, Daniel. And he said, he's showing me the camera. He's like, I can't believe this. He's pointing at the flash, the battery level. He said, I just replaced the batteries at the beginning of the tour. They were dead. So very satisfying. It would be. It would be. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, I think he's a believer now. It happens. We've it had happens. many batteries just gone. Yeah, yep. yeah, and that's how they reach out, right? Because they use it's the energy. They're feeding off the energy. Exactly, that's, yeah. That's inside those batteries. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's one of the most powerful things when you tell people that it's going to happen, and then it happens. And then when you walk away from the house, you tell them, oh, try your camera or your phone in about five minutes. And they do, and it fires up. It's back at its normal level. Well, I have to say that uh, more problems happen with iPhones. Oh, I don't have an iPhone, so... Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm not going to you know, dive into that. Uh, but... Um, well, Niagara on the Lake is amazing. It is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you guys, you stayed overnight at the Angel Inn. <clears throat> we have, right? twice. Yeah, and I, it's different when regular people stay at the Angel Inn than when investigators stay at the Angel Inn. So you set up an investigation? Well, of course. We, yeah, we went in, we booked a room, and uh, we just spent the, the night investigating nice and we weren't disappointed and what was kind of stuff stand out well the first time we were there um we woke up we did actually sleep at one point we woke up what was it about 3 a.m oh, somewhere there. around oh, there. there all the staff in the hotel are gone obviously by that time and we could hear downstairs all this rumbling going on and very very loud as if somebody was taking all of the, the tables and the chairs in the dining room and shuffling them across the, the wooden floor. So it was like dragging noise. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. loud. Like, I don't know how anybody else would have slept through it. But you can't go downstairs, right? No. no they no. locked yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the So we wait until the morning to... Of course. <laughs> you know, they're all like, good morning, how was your stay? It was good. Oh, did you and, have, a, have a, a conversation or did you have an interaction with Captain Swayze? Oh, they actually asked you? They asked <laughs> yeah. Us. Well, they yeah. probably yeah. did, right? Yeah. So we said yes, and we told them what had happened, and they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah that, that, that stuff kind of, they just shrugged it off, and it's like, yeah, it happens. 
Yeah, well, it's considered uh, the most haunted building in Canada's most haunted town. It has a reputation to hold. But they are full believers, the staff. And the second time we were there, um, we stayed in the same room because we had great results. At least we thought we had great results. And we went out into the the corridor uh, at one point during the night with our EMF detectors and just seeing what we could get. When we got back into the room, came into the room, closed the door, Click the lock shut. Four seconds later, the sound of the lock engaging again a second time behind us. We turned and looked, and we think it was Captain Swayze. And he's not the the mean, nasty ghoul that that some people make him out to be. Well, not with you, because you're Canadian. Yeah. Well, that and we we respect him. We don't go in. We actually brought a British flag with us and laid it out. That's nice. Said a little speech that we're here just to talk to you, no disrespect, and and we got positive results. So when you heard the click, the the lock, yeah, mm-hmm. unlock, and and that time that we were there when we heard the lock, it was the anniversary of the burning of the town. Wow. And so we think Captain Swayze locked the door to make sure that we were safe. Oh, so it was unlocked and he locked it. Well, no, we locked it. Yeah. And then it's like four, he did it again. And then four seconds later, uh-huh. you could hear the lock engage a second time. Although we did, the, the latch did not turn, but you could hear it. Very cool. And so it's our theory that because it was the anniversary of the burning of the town, who knows what he's experiencing in, in the spirit domain. We believe he locked us in the door, in the, the room, locking the door to make sure that we were safe. Yeah, because you guys were being nice. He had the experience uh, the opposite route. Uh, there's a story of a paranormal couple, an uh, investigative couple that came in from the States, and they knew about Swayze. They, they knew he was a soldier in the British Army that was murdered by some Americans, and they knew that. So what they did uh, to try and stir him up, basically make him angry, they brought an American flag and draped it on the end of their bed and uh, they, they thought they were going to wake up in the middle of the night you know things flying around the room the bed levitating floating against the wall but no nothing happened slept the entire night woke up the next day and they're like ah you know this stuff isn't real nothing happened to us and it's said that they looked to the end of the bed and that the uh, flag had been uh, shredded like ripped apart a little bit no and, surprise uh, yeah yeah I'll tell you the way he reaches out I saw him once He's oh, yeah. the only spirit I've ever seen. Of course, in the women's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me before you get into the experience, uh, just okay. to say, uh, so Captain Swayze uh, was, uh, the Angel Inn has been a tavern since before the War of 1812. It's the oldest in all of Ontario. And Swayze was said to be waiting for his love so they could get out of town when the Americans were invading and that she didn't show up for whatever reason. So the Americans saw him, chased him in the basement, killed him, buried him in the basement. Uh, so that's why you know he doesn't like Americans. He's he's very angry, uh, and uh, also why he tends to uh, affect the bathrooms because the only occupied spaces that people go down there for are the bathrooms. And of course, uh, he tends to focus more on the women's washroom. I'll just leave that up in the air. I'm not going to say why he might do such a thing. <laughs> I think we're we're far enough away to say that. <laughs> but, I think we can figure it out. He's a pervert. Yeah, that's just saying. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what, ha- what happened to you? Well, we were there one time. We were just having dinner, and I'm like, okay, I got, I've used the bathroom before we leave. So I go down, and you know, I'm, and I do my business. I'm standing at the, and there's a big mirror, so I'm standing for the mirror. I'm washing my hands. I can feel something in the corner. I can feel it behind me. I know it's there. I can't see it, but I know it's there. So I'm like, okay. So I'm, I'm assuming it's him. I didn't say anything. Wash my hands. Then I turned to the right, and there's, I'm blow, I'm drying my hands, and I, and I just feel it getting closer. I turned. And he was in the corner, full uniform, for like a flash of a second, and then he was gone. Really? Yep. So you saw like I saw uh, him. almost like a figure. Now did you? See, okay, I've had a similar. I experience. saw the red. Yeah, but did you see it like physically? It's going to sound weird to people who haven't done this, but did you see him physically in front of you, or was it more like a flash in your mind? No, he was there. Oh, okay. he was there. Yeah, okay, well, more sensitive. Yeah, right? and it was the only one I've ever seen. The only time I've ever seen him. And he was, it, was, it, was, it was quick, but he was just enough that I saw him and then he was gone. Okay, well, I think that's a, a great way to end off the interview. Uh-